Good morning and happy Jubilee week. Today is June 1st and tomorrow the 2nd and Friday the 3rd are bank holidays in the UK so we all get those day off. Everyone here is super lively and excited for celebrating the Queen this week for her 70th year on the rain. All the streets are covered in British flags and um, there's a lot of purple banners which signify the Platinum Jubilee for the Queen. So we decided last night that we're going to have a party for the Jubilee tomorrow. Thursday morning, there is a parade by Buckingham Palace starting at 10 a.m., which means we'll probably have to leave at like six or seven if we wanna get any glimpses of the royal family. So they'll do a parade. I think it's like within two blocks, two or three blocks around Buckingham Palace and the mall, which is a long street right there. And then the infamous pictures you see of the royal family standing on the balcony, they're gonna do that tomorrow. So I really wanna get a good spot which stinks because we're gonna have to wake up so early to do that. But then we're gonna have a bunch of people over after. Um, and we live a couple blocks from Kensington Palace, so if it's nice, we'll maybe go to the park and bring our food and drinks. But for now, we're just gonna have everyone at our flat. So right now we're just in preparation for that. We have to get so much food, we have to clean. There's a couple of like items that we need, like serving trays and bags of ice, just like little things you have to do when you get ready to host a party so let's keep going and start i think i'm next gonna go grocery shopping even though i probably should be finishing up work right now but it's towards the end of the day i'm gonna grocery shop and then i'll circle back so we just got an amazon package yesterday went a little crazy buying um like paper plate sets and a banner so let's see what got delivered i'm not even sure if everything got delivered Okay, so I got this set. It's blue and gold polka dots. It comes with balloons, like a banner I could stream on our fireplace mantle. And then just, yeah, different paper plates, sets. Gosh, what is this? Okay. Okay, so this is just, I think, the exact same thing, but in white and gold, which is so cute. I mean, we have a million different things of gold around the house, so I'm not sure I need more gold, which will be too much, but yeah, these could be, like, strong right here, which would be so cute. And then I also got one more set of, like, paper plates and paper cups and straws and whatever and that's just a straight blue colored kind of like is that colored actually and then i was thinking like right there or on this big plain white wall that we have we can put the banner that i got of the queen's platinum jubilee <laughs> it's just her face and then it says like i think 70th platinum jubilee or something like that but yeah so we cleared off the top of our serving bar cart so we can put like food on there or I cleared off this we can put more serving food or drinks here but our flat is like pretty tiny I want to say it's like 600 700 square feet maybe I'm not sure we the floor plan was incorrect when we saw it but I'm probably gonna have like 11 to 15 people here so I have to sit here I have to sit there I'm gonna clean off my work desk here and then we'll probably have to bring brogan's work chair in which was so beautiful and it'll go great with our aesthetic his big black work chair but yeah so now i'm gonna head off i'm gonna go to the grocery store and then i'm gonna go to this store called wilco which um it's not like a, a dollar store or dollar store equivalent here is the pound it's called poundland it's a little higher than that i wouldn't i don't even know what i would compare it to in the u.s because I've never seen a store like this, but I definitely know that they have like some sort of serving trays. Um, we're gonna make English tea sandwiches, so I wanna get like a three-tiered thing to um, put all the sandwiches. But again, like everyone has been so excited for this week that people have started preparing like 
months ago and so I'm sure all of these kinds of items that I need for tomorrow have been sold out for weeks um, so wish me luck on that classic British food steak and ale cannot find any sausage rolls it seems like they're sold out of most popular British food to carry all the bags home. So it does it definitely doesn't look like we got a lot of food, but our plan is to make some English cheese sandwiches. So the cucumbers, we have cream cheese, we're gonna make salmon and cream cheese ones. Um we got the bread, the mayo and mustard for another type I can't remember what the mixtures were and then like a chicken and this one is like yeah cranberries oh the hard-boiled eggs goes with the mayo and mustard sandwiches so just like some of the traditional tea sandwiches and then we got sausage different kinds of sausage rolls which are really big here and then Cornish pastries which we've had in Bath England which are so good they're kind of like um sausage rolls and then one of my friends for our going away party she made us a fruit cake with like the pillsbury dough and then made it into a flag with the strawberries and blueberries so that's our plan so we we got our british strawberries a little carton of them got our blueberries and then i still need to find dough like it's not that popular i guess here to buy that or maybe it is so i'm gonna go to whole foods I think and see if they have different kinds of dough for the fruit cake but yeah I think it's looking good I got some flowers for the vases I got purple ones um, for the platinum Jubilee color and then just some white ones over here one thing I love about the grocery store we go to it's called M&S which is Marks and Spencer and we actually side note we're watching the Vogue like 72 questions with Adele and she said her favorite Grocery store is and we thought grocery shop there. But they have a huge flower section, and you can buy like these are four pounds, like just one of these, and they're like a decent size. So I got three different ones. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to work for a little bit, and then gonna start cracking on with these sandwiches. I went to H and M, and I got a bunch of like serving platters. So I got two of these. Just basic old ones again, like, I'm so last minute on all of this that I had to get what was available and this was the only stock, just where I needed more gold. So I'm going to put the sandwiches on there and if we buy any more little desserts. I got another one. This will be for the fruit cake. Hopefully I can like mold it so it fits perfectly. And then the last thing I got was, I don't really know what you call this. It's a little dusty right now, but it's like, I don't know, like a metal tray. So I was going to put all of like the Cornish pastries and sausage rolls on those. And so I think this is like the perfect size spot for people to get their food. We originally were going to have food over here. Like we usually have like a little decoration on here, but we took it off. Um, so maybe this can actually be served for the bar cart and put the drinks here. This is the ice bucket. It's also so weird because everything in England is just smaller than normal. Like, look at our fridge is tiny, fridge and freezer. And then this is our dual washer and dryer, which is tiny. Sometimes it takes seven to eight hours for everything. Oh, maybe you put it right up. Just like home you can get like a huge thing of ice here you just get this tiny little little ice pack but I'm gonna go finish working and report back when we start making some tea sandwiches I was starting to put all of this stuff away and I knew we were missing something like we got more we had four or five bags to take home they were so heavy and I realized we got all of these sparkling waters and tonic waters for gin and tonic and 
some Moretti's, and some Hell's. We haven't tried the M&S brand, so he must have just wanted to try it this time. But keep in mind, we live like a five, six minute walk from the grocery store, so we have to lug all of this home every time. Seems like a quick journey home, but it's definitely not when you're carrying two, four, six, eight, nine bottles of water and two big things of beer. I forgot a couple weeks ago we actually got this in the mail from our borough. The addition was to talk about the royal party and the jubilee, all the ways that you can celebrate. I know they're doing a lot of um, resident street parties, so if we decided to have a street party, we could shut down our streets, but we'd have to invite all of our residents. Um, which we don't really know all of our neighbors. So we decided to go to like a bigger street party that a larger street in our neighborhood is hosting. And they're all over, so it's not hard to walk up to them. Actually, the one that we want to go is sold out of tickets, but I think we're just going to go try. Okay, so we've already started cooking. We got our cream cheese and dill and lemon mixture started slicing the cucumbers they're definitely not paper thin like i thought i was doing when i was cutting them i mean some of them are but not really brogan shredded the rotisserie and then right now i have some eggs hard boiling so i think i'm just going to start with the cucumber and dill and go from there we got two types of bread we got gluten-free bread we aren't gluten-free but we really like this brand. And if we rarely buy bread, but if we ever do buy bread, we buy this one and, and have like a cracker kind of bread. But one of our friends that's coming, she's trying to figure out if she's gluten, so she's um, doctor, doctor recommended to eat this. And then we just got basic white. I might go back and get pumpernickel bread or wheat bread, because I read that's really good with the salmon cream cheese. But we'll see. So right now I'm just going to keep cracking on with the cucumber. Cutting off the corners. The crust. It sucks because I keep every time I cut it off, I start eating the crust and the little mixture that's inside. It's deadly. This could be dinner. Step one. Wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up! Alright guys, I've made some serious progress So in here is 10 hard boiled eggs mashed up with our masher. And then I put some paprika, watercress, mayo. And that was the original recipe, but then it just kind of tasted like too much mayo. So I added some mustard and I think that is like the perfect combination. And then a lot of paprika. So we already have a bunch of sandwiches over here. These are the gluten free ones. And then I just made leftover hard-boiled eggs for us if we needed any. But we've already run out of cream cheese, and we need that for one more sandwich. I'm gonna run to the store, go get more dill, go get more butter, and then I also need just regular sugar cookie dough so I can make the fruit pizza. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store really quick, and hopefully they have all these items so I don't have to make multiple trips there or go to Whole Foods. So. 
We'll see. A tear cake stand. This one's way cuter than the ones I got at H&M, so maybe we don't need all of these ones over here. Made a cookie cake. And bro read that if you put bread on top of it, it stays soft. So we'll see if that actually works out. Clean up the bar cart, put all of the food and flowers over there. Vacuuming and the best feature. <laughs> Amazon, 10 pounds. Now we are just gonna get ready for bed. It's 11 o'clock. We cooked and cleaned longer than we thought it would take. We're probably gonna get up at six on our day off tomorrow to try and get a spot at the parade. It sucks because it's also earlier than we would on the regular work day. So we'll probably just get up, grab a quick coffee, and head over there. Buckingham Palace is two miles on the opposite side of the park, so we might walk one way and bus home or vice versa. So we'll make a game time decision in the morning. See you then. Beautiful day to celebrate the Queenie. It's 55 out. Daily dilemma here with London weather. We're heading to the most British place, bro. Where is it? Starbucks. Best iced coffee in town. Every place is getting so festive. We're the queen. Not so far. Quick bus ride. I'm not sure we're gonna find a spot or I will be able to see. <laughs> we might be able to. I think we got binoculars.
And this is literally like one fifteenth of the people that we saw actually in the mall. You're right, there probably was eight million people there. <laughs> For real, I...